What is happening people, and welcome back to another video. So today, I'm at Craig Gibbons' house. And we're doing Zach's bedroom. He doesn't know about it, it's for his birthday. But here's the wall, nice and blank, nothing on it. Just the way we like it. But um, I'm gonna be painting a PlayStation themed bedroom, which is quite fitting really with uh, PlayStation 5 coming out just around the corner. But uh, yeah, Zach is into his PlayStation and uh, we thought we'd give him a nice wall for his birthday. Now I'm gonna put a big controller through the middle and then I'm gonna put the square, the circle, the triangle and the X around it in like a neon type of uh, style. So it looks like it's glowing and uh, that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give five quick tips and tricks on little things that you probably need if you was to become a graffiti artist. And uh, let's get down to number one. The first thing I would say is a little uh, trick or tip is carry a multi-tool or a pen knife. Uh, they are brilliant, so where I've got like dust sheets out and things like that, if I just need to cut, that'll do everything. Screw on the wall, you know, you've got your screwdriver, and so yeah, if a can clogs, I use the corkscrew bit, Take the tip, aim it away from yourself, and psh, it'll release all the dried up paint in the tube inside the can. That's another handy tip for that. Uh, I use the bottle opener tool on it to open up, pry open paint tins and things like that, which is handy and all around good thing to keep in your pocket. So, another handy thing to keep is a bag for the cat. Uh, I normally carry about four main types. The first one would be an Astro Fat Cap, which looks like this. It's like a kind of see-through looking thing with a black dot. Then that does like a very wide dot, gets a lot of coverage pretty quick with that. Then a little bit more accurate then is a pink dot, which is another fat cap. And moving down to a smaller dot then, I use a Banana Universal. Banana Universal I use a lot for doing portraits because it's got a nice clean edge when you're doing a lot of cutting in. And the last ca uh, cap I use is a Montana Level 1. Now I use these on a 94, this is an MTN 94. This is a low pressure can. I put this on it and it gives me a nice small line for detail. It's a little bit spitty on this because of the low pressure, it's not, it's not direct in the paint straight out, but it gives me a nice clean finishing line when I need it. So there, there that's number two of my handy tricks and tips. So yeah, another trick would be wear a snood or a neck scarf. Now, these help when you've got your mask on all day. Uh, I'm painting up to about six hours a day, and you know, it tends to rub on the back of your neck, but Wearing one of these helps, and then plus, if you have to pop into a shop, you can easily wear it over your face like this as a face covering. So normally I would carry like an old magazine or some scrap paper, but masking tape does that fine as well. So if you ever just need to get like that nice clean edge, better with um, an old magazine or an old piece of paper or something, you just hold the piece of paper up to the wall and use the edge of the paper to give you that nice, crisp, clean line. Paper is another good one uh, for doing hair. You can rip it into a little curve, and you can rip it into all different shapes, and then use that then for a nice like stencil line, as, as it kind of is, uh, to give you that nice clean line that you're looking for. Last one. Call yourself something cool like tea two sugars, because then you always get a cup of tea when you turn up. So, got everything taped up. Got my dust sheets down on the ground. Got them going up on the side here, and I got a big one going all across the ceiling. Kind of can't see it, but they are here. Uh, there's one here on the side here. So if I get any overspray, it goes on the dust sheet, not on the walls. Um, yeah, another little trick and tip. Don't half ass anything. If you're going to do it, do it right. And uh, we've got enough paint to get it started. So let's get rocking. Going to mark out. A little doodle grid so I can get the proportions right of my controller pad and then I'm going to put my triangle circle square X so it's like on an angle like a PlayStation pad and uh, controller whatever you want to call it and uh, yeah we're just gonna start bulking on the background and like I said with my caps I bulk out the background with 
my Astros and my pink dots and uh, they give me quite a big fill quite quickly and uh, I'm just gonna whip you on a time lapse and enjoy. because I want the triangle and the square, the X and the circle to really pop. Cut out a couple of words in here, so just one more, game over and ready up. Just to give it some little bit of thing in the background. But uh, I'm gonna start adding in these glowing shapes and uh, it's gonna start looking sick now. But uh, yeah, really happy with the way it's turned out. Like the generic, uh, the geometric shapes in the background. It's just gonna give us some sort of like depth and things like that. So, um, but yeah, all in all, it's coming out really nice. So, uh, let's go. Woo. doing these glowy shapes is just use a light and dark color and just take the take the light glow light it along the top darker on the bottom because then when you come along the bottom edge yeah all bottom edges are lighter and all top edges are darker you might see obviously in the other ones they're kind of self-explanatory but I'm gonna try and show you now but I'm just gonna add in a little highlight line along the bottom and then see how the glow on the outside here is darker and up top then it's lighter and then using the dark green I'm gonna then carve in the top line I might even go and get a darker green again see how it turns out now but you get the access in accents in you get the shapes in and then you just build in the layers over and over again but yeah, and then it's just add a little white highlights here and there and it just makes it really pop off. But I'm just gonna crack on with this triangle and then move on to the controller. <laughs> I'm all done here in Zach's bedroom and happy birthday for tomorrow and uh, if you guys picked up some helpful tips during this video make sure you give it a like and uh, let me know down below what you play Nintendo Switch, Xbox or if you like me and play on PlayStation and if you guys like my type of stuff and want to see more make sure you like and subscribe and I hope you picked up some helpful tips and I'll see you guys in the next one peace Yeah.